The other day, I listened to a song that I hadn't <clears throat> heard for several years, and that was uh, The Police's Invisible Sun. Now, I am someone who is just uh, almost perpetually irritated by Sting, just, just his personality. Uh, he seems incredibly pompous and defeat and, and uh, uh, unpleasant in that way uh, that, uh, that's uniquely Sting-like. But I have to hand it to him. Uh, he was capable of real genius uh, when, it com when it comes to music, and, and uh, he and the, the rest of his band, The Police, Thinking back on the album that this song is from, Ghost in the Machine, I think it's an extraordinary album. It has a lot of just just great, great songs uh, on it. A very, very unique sound. Um, but this song in particular really caught my uh, caught me up. Uh, caught me, you know, grabbed me by the heart in an unexpected way. Um, it was just sort of one of those things where I, I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, that song Invisible Sun, uh, it had a kind of striking uh, video, didn't it? Let me watch that again. It's been years. Um, so I watched it, and I watched the video, but mostly I listened to the song, and <clears throat> I found it to be uh, entirely uh, frighteningly topical for a song that was written in, I guess, 1980, 1981, and it was written about <clears throat> political conditions, maybe, maybe with Northern Ireland in mind, <clears throat> because most of the, the video is set in Northern Ireland and at the time of the Troubles. Um, but uh, but it's so applicable. It's so applicable. It's it's like I said, frighteningly applicable to to modern day concerns. Uh, particularly if you if you pay attention to what's going on in places like Austria, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. You know them be these countries being the more extreme types of places. Uh, the first verse, uh, I don't want to spend the rest of my days keeping out of trouble like a soldier say. I don't want to spend my time in hell looking at the walls of a prison cell. And I don't ever want to play the part of a statistic on a government chart. It's like, wow, a statistic on a government chart, like, like the kind of charts that they formulate, uh, you know, where they get extra cash if they find that you are, if they, that you test positive for a particular uh, uh, malady, <clears throat> the kind of uh, charts that they formulate when they get extra money if you're in the hospital and you die uh, of a particular malady or with a particular malady, with and, uh, uh, and of, uh, you know, there's no distinction made there. And in fact, <laughs> well, we all know about the shenanigans of the the charts uh, that have been formulated, uh, and I certainly don't ever want to be that. And and the whole possibility of spending my time in hell looking at the walls of a prison cell—that was never, you know, when I heard the song uh, during the '80s, I never really thought that was a possibility for me. Today, it seems like. I'm not, I'm not saying it's still that likely a possibility, but it seems, I mean, has the world gotten more or less free uh, in the 40 years since that song, Invisible Sun, was recorded by the police, the interestingly named, the named police? Uh, you know, you tell me. I mean, we had the fall of the Cold War, which I talked about in a previous article, which you would think would have ushered in a time of freedom uh, in the West, but that has not been the case uh, for most of the political West, especially not in the last couple of years. But there there are many, uh, like I said, lines in the song that are very relatable to 
uh, current day conditions. But uh, then there's the chorus, which is, which is incredibly powerful. Um, it somehow, without really uh, changing tone, without I mean, the the entire song is pretty grim sounding. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a very uh, 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 it has this this atmospheric quality to it. Uh, that makes you feel like, uh, uh, like you're, you're, I don't know, standing in, standing in line for, for the factory, breathing in the fumes, uh, you know, uh, getting yelled at by <clears throat> authority figures and, uh, or being, or about to be carted away in some, some, uh, some tank or, or other by riot police. It has that, that grim kind of, uh, totalitarian feel to it but the chorus uh changes course a little bit it it's uh the, the in the chorus we hear there has to be an invisible sun that brings this heat to everyone there has to be an invisible sun that gives us hope when the whole day is done invisible sun spelled s-u-n <clears throat> But of course, you know, it's, it's, it would be very easy to conflate with the S-O-N uh, if you were so inclined to do, to do so, the Son of God. Um, so in the midst of all the, this, this grim picture that is, that is uh, depicted in the song, there is, uh, there's hope. There's something out there that brings us hope, e even, even uh, in the midst of everything, uh, in the midst of of so much hopelessness, uh, in the midst of so much um, draconian uh, of these dra draconian uh, these persistent, persistently draconian conditions where life is cheap. Um, and, uh, you know, they assume the, uh, they, they assume the authority to, uh, to determine your, your future, uh, your future livelihood based on whether you'll take their, the crap that they produce into your system. Um, even in the midst of all of that, there's, uh, there's an invisible sun. We can't see it but it's there and it brings heat to the uh, to these very to this very cold world and it brings brings hope to us all um, and yet the, it's done in such a way it's 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 discussed in the song in the chorus in such a way uh, that doesn't undermine the grim quality of the rest of the song so it's a very uh, very extraordinary very powerful um, uh, message that it, that it delivers um, it doesn't lose sight of the struggle <clears throat> not at all not by a long shot but but yet the 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 speaker of the song wonders at the fact that that there is still hope, and uh, that uh, there is light and heat that is brought to us uh, by this invisible, this invisible sun. Something we cannot see, uh, but which we cannot uh, live without, and which helps us in our struggle. I'm going to link to it below so you can listen for yourself and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. My name is Andy Nowicki. You can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com. My latest book, The Insurrectionist, can be purchased from terrorhousepress.com.